Hello everyone, my name is Ashfaq Ahmad and I work in the field of structure biology and bioinformatics. Today I will teach you how to perform protein protein docking in Google Colab from PDB structures. My viewers, I hope that you will be able to understand somehow the use of Google Colab uh, now because we have covered almost uh, five to six videos in Google Colab. So prior to this video we have also covered protein ligand docking both in offline and Google Colab setup. If you are interested in protein ligand docking or virtual screening you need to follow those two videos I will put a link in the description section but today we will try or we will work on the protein protein docking and we will use the PDB structure directly from the database so let's start So first of all, you have to open Google Colab Research Google.com and GitHub Ash 100. I will drop this link in the description section also for this video. Once your system is ready, you will see this kind of window. Now here you will click here and you will select h100 forward slash ppi ppi stands for protein protein interaction once you click here you will see from pdb underscore protein underscore protein docking with mega dog mega dog is actually the name of a program we will use today the exact version we will use is megadoc 4.0 now click here <coughs> okay uh, almost it may take 10 to 12 seconds and you will see this kind of window now this time you don't need to directly click here before I thought you like to click here connect but now today I will teach you some extra stuff come here click the run time now come here change the run time type you will see these option your selection will be here CPU now click here T4 GPU and save now click connect here for this tutorial we will use GPUs because Megadoc, Megadoc is, a, uh, is using Nevada GPUs for parallel programming and it will reduce your time much more uh, effectively. If you do not connect with T4 GPU so I am afraid it will take longer or maybe too much longer. So that's why I suggest you to connect with the T4 GPU. Okay, now we are connected here. This is a brief introduction of this notebook like who am I and uh, you can watch the tutorial on this uh, YouTube channel. This program is actually or this notebook I would say is actually designed from the program or from the materials uh, published in these two papers uh, if you work on protein protein docking using this notebook so it is necessary or it is compulsory you has to cite these two uh, research papers okay this is uh, important read this notebook only use structure from the PDB if you are planning for protein protein docking but your structure are present 
in your computer either you have modeled it or you got it from somewhere else but if they are not present in the PDB and you are also interested to use those structures which are present in the in, in your computer then this notebook is not for you uh, maybe tonight or maybe tomorrow I will uh, upload another notebook for that kind of docking this notebook is only for those whose structures are present in the PDB already so in this uh, tutorial I will use two structures from the PDB one is the DIVL which is a bacterial histidine kinase and another one is DIVK which is a bacterial response regulator and they both are cognate partners they interact with each other so I can show you here this is the 4OQ20 uh, crystal structure of the DIVL and this is the I am sorry 1MAV response regulator structure that is called DIVK now what you need these are my two structures 4Q20 and 1MAV just write here 4Q20 already it is written okay it will ask you for a chain there are two options to select the chain option first scroll down you will see the chain information chain A and chain B and for this protein I have only one chain chain A so for this protein is not a problem I will select chain A but for this protein I have to choose with which chain I'm going to dock the DIVK protein another way is you download this structure and open it in your favorite browser either Pymol or discovery visualizer or any other one and from there you can see how many chain this protein has okay so this is my receptor ID or the first structure ID the chain I will use is chain A if you want me to use it chain B or if you so change it to chain B and for this protein 1MAB and we this is called ligand PDB uh, the, the architecture for docking is one is receptor one is ligand so in that scenario they are using the receptor chain or the ligand chain but it doesn't matter even you can write this here in the ligand the receptor or the other one in the ligand okay these are the mega dock parameters and it actually calculates the angle scores for every pose we will talk at the end uh, uh, initially you need to leave it as it is and run this cell run anyway now it's done the next step is to install some programs what what are those programs we are installing because you will need to to write about these programs in your research paper or thesis so we will use biopython we will use ngl view we will we will also use the megadoc 4 and we will use some nevada gpus and uh, ngl view for uh, viewing purposes and we will also clone or install the megadoc software directly so now click here it will take almost uh, one to two minutes so therefore I am going to pause this video for a while welcome back it took one minute and eleven second with me so that's okay now the next step is we will download those structures mentioned here so click here 
the structures will be downloaded here in the megadoc folder i will show you later okay you can cross this these warnings now these are some parameter setting for docking so just click it if you want to know much more about it read those two papers i mentioned above simply now i will use i will run the megadoc software you can see these are all the information like CUDA is using and how many decoys or output it will check these informations were already uh, selected above now the docking is done and it took 11 seconds because we were using it on GPUs if you did not connect with T4 then in your case it may have uh, it may took a bit longer run this these are some essential imports uh, for the NGL view now we will prepare the first pose and we will try to see it on the uh, in the NGL view if you want to change the name of the pose I will change it let's say okay complex one is okay doesn't matter so run it and wait for some time you will see your docking structure here so the red one is uh, chain B I selected and the blue one is actually the ligand protein we selected the response regulator if you want to cancel you can otherwise leave it as it is now this window will show you the top five poses achieved in this docking you can see a very much crowded uh, blue structure because the blue was actually we use it we use it as a ligand so almost four clustered here and the one here uh, because docking is a prediction method okay i cross it now we want to know the score click here the score is 6.9373 now i will teach you some interesting thing now i want to improve the score so to improve the score i will just uh, ask the program to calculate six scores for every angle then you run it again this cell because i have made some changes you don't do not need to rerun the install because things are already installed you also do not need to download because uh, uh, nothing will happen and for megadoc parameter you can run it again and run the megadoc again and here you can see now it is six set number of scores per one angle so six i hope it will improve our docking score a bit but that's uh, what i hope okay don't need uh, these things so i will just come to the score option yes you can see e is now 8.1 now you also need to understand or the interpretation uh, of this docking score if in your case the score is below 8 so it means the interaction is negative and the precision accuracy is 10 percent if the score is greater than 8 it means the interaction is positive and the precision accuracy is almost 10 percent if the score is greater than 10 it means the ppi is again positive with accuracy of 50 percent but if the score is greater than 12 it's an ideal scenario in that case uh, it means your precision is almost 80 percent so here is the picture for this protein pairs if they lie here 
with uh, 12 and above score it will be with 80 percent precision if they lies here in 10 and uh, in the, this uh, green region 10 to 12 it will be 50 percent if they lies here it will be 10 percent precision although it will be positive but if they lies below it then it means uh, it's a negative binding you either they are not binding but if you are thinking that actually they are binding then it means the megadoc uh, may not be able to solve the the algorithm used in me megadoc may not be able to solve your question okay now your docking is finished what is next uh, how to achieve your files you need to uh, note down the scores from here now click here click mega doc and uh, if you want to have those pdb used for docking you can have this is uh, chain a this is the chain b we use this is some license file etc etc uh, about the readme file okay this is actually the complex pdb which was generated and uh, i'm going to download it okay i'm not going to download the other five so this complex uh, is okay which is stored here in complex one and that is two by default my computer is uh, opening it in discovery visualizer so that is fine otherwise i'm mm, fond of uh, pymol and here it is so to generate a very beautiful pictures or uh, the interaction figures you will need to use uh, pymol i will also try to make another video um, to generate for uh, how you can visualize or generate for protein protein interaction and that is very much um, interesting video uh, before we have covered but that was for protein and ligands this time it will be for protein protein okay so our next video will be for those uh, who want to upload their own structures from their local computer uh, because in this video we have used the structures from from pdb so stay tuned to the channel and uh, subscribe this channel if you like my works and uh, i will try my best to bring the real questions and the real tutorial in the most simplest way uh, i can so uh, stay happy stay blessed bye bye